Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what's going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we'll pray through today's prayer together. A Prayer for When You Feel Alone by Molly Law Read by Leah Martin Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Psalm 25, 16 Loneliness can feel like the worst thing in the world, and it's something we all, at one time or another, endure. Loneliness can manifest itself in a variety of ways. Someone can be surrounded by crowds of people or with family and friends and still feel lonely. The reasons can be numerous, whether they feel like they don't belong in that group or maybe going through a season of change they feel people around them won't or can't understand. Or loneliness is when we're physically alone and no one's around us. Some people find themselves isolated through no fault of their own. There's loneliness felt when someone desires to be loved by a romantic partner and That answer to prayer is delayed. It can be amplified when surrounded by happy couples, seeing their love, wedding photos, vacations, spread all over social media. It can be felt when someone is childless, longing to be a parent, and seeing their friends have healthy, happy babies. There's so many ways and reasons to feel lonely, and in those moments, life seems hopeless and dark and sometimes not worth living. And that's a lie from the enemy. Loneliness is a tricky emotion. On the one hand, what you feel is totally valid. No one can take away your feelings. And on the other hand, loneliness, if left to fester, can lead to false ideations and actions that can be harmful. Loneliness can also cause us to bottle up what we're feeling. The lie that this feeling tells us is that no one will ever understand what we're going through. But when we have the courage to reach out to others, we'll certainly find that we're not alone in our feelings, that someone else feels the exact same way. Although we may feel lonely and are ready to share with anyone how we feel, we're still never truly alone. There is one who promises to be with us always. When Jesus ascended into heaven, leaving his disciples, who were also his friends, he didn't leave them alone. He left them with someone who would never leave them, someone who would live inside of them forever, the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 41.10 tells us, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Throughout Scripture, God promises us that He is with us, and we don't have to feel afraid or hopeless. So let's pray. Dear Lord, I'm feeling lonely today, and I don't know why. I'm feeling hopeless, alone, scared. I feel like there's no one to talk to about this. I feel like the only person in the world who feels like this, and I don't know how to feel any other way. So please, be with me. I know your promise. I know you'll never leave me, that you'll strengthen me. I pray that you'll surround me with your peace and with your spirit. I pray for the strength to open up to my loved ones about how I feel, or to find a support group with people who are going through the same thing. I pray you relieve this feeling. I pray for those who don't feel like they can open up to those around them, who feel like they won't be understood or can't be themselves. I pray for those who feel like something's missing in their life, that the world is revealing that they're the only ones to not be married or have children or have that dream job or whatever they long for. 
My Father, thank you for your overwhelming presence in our lives. Thank you for peace and understanding. Thank you for providing us with your Spirit, who will indwell us until we see you face to face. Thank you for giving us friends and family who love and support us. Thank you for giving us the courage to seek comfort in our loneliness when the enemy tries to deceive us, lying to us that what we long for isn't possible, that all is lost. Thank you for your truth. We love and trust you, our King and Shepherd. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.